To the story now about how climate change is impacting on education locally. Now, the leadership of Seaside Primary in Portland uh, says it was forced to get air conditioning in classrooms after a sharp increase in temperatures for successive years in the parish. Dwayne Anderson reports. Physical activity is a key part of a good early education. And here at Seaside Primary, PE includes football. But these students are very competitive. So each player sweats bucket loads during the game. And when the game is over, they just want to cool down. Lucky for them, cooling down is a lot easier than at most local schools. Their school has air conditioning in four of seven classrooms. Their two computer labs also have AC. We recognize in the last two school years that we recorded record um, high temperatures. And what we also recognize is that the students in our classroom spaces are becoming restless. The students, after boiling days under the sun, are now over the moon with joy. I used to feel very miserable, um, sticky. I, de I didn't feel good. And now I have the AC and I feel so nice. The learning situation is more comfortable. As she said, you can focus more on your work now. The journey has been a total team effort. For instance, most classes have 30 students. At the start of the year, each of their parent contributes $1,000, which guarantees at least $30,000. Students and teachers then do fundraisers from concerts or movie days. These raise anywhere between thirty to fifty thousand dollars. I sold icicle on a daily basis to reach that target. The remaining sums to buy and install the units are then contributed by residents of surrounding communities and past students overseas. This operation has been ongoing for three years. It has coincided with the increased temperatures in the parish. And the principal says the benefits are being seen in exam results. Now the demand for space at Seaside Primary is real. We did registration May and the first week of registration our grade 1 class was full and to the point where we had to have two grade 1 classes this year. Our exam results, our reading programs, our interventions, we are an inclusive school. We also cater to students that have um, learning difficulties and other needs in terms of um, autism and so on. But as is the case with most changes, there are pros and cons. And in this case, the concern is higher energy bills. We have been promised by the Ministry of Education through the National Education Trust and just August, I received communication from NET that our school is on the list for pilot, pilot schools that will be receiving um, solar panels. Three of the seven classes at the school still have fans cooling down students in the days, but this won't be the case much longer. Dwayne Anderson, TVJ News. The National